Got a white lip snake here which uh, picked up a little while ago and I'm going to um, let this guy go exactly where I found him. And to find out where I found him, there's a few signs here along the way. There's wombat droppings here and up over there some Tasmanian devil droppings. Let's have a look at those to make sure I've got the right spot. What I've got here is wombat droppings. Basically, tell wombats only eat grass, and it's all just plant matter in there, and they eat roots and things. And there's diggings here, where well, I've got there, and they've dug here, and they've sort of got roots up. And let's have a look. What are they done here? They dug that up. It's chewed on it a bit there. See? So you can just tell the animal that eats this just eats nothing but grass, really. There's a big wombat poo there. It's all just got compacted plant matter. So there's been a wombat come through here, dig around and put its droppings here. And up over there there's some devil droppings. And it was only just past the devil droppings is where the white lip was and that's where I want to put this white lip back, right where those devil, just past the devil droppings. And hopefully the devils don't eat the white lip. Right. Here we are. I'm standing in the middle of a Tasmanian Devil latrine site. And boy does this tell a story. I mean, this is like a forensic scene. You can sort of like work out the story of what happens in the bush just by looking at droppings sometimes. So let's have a look at these droppings. Well, this one here is an old one. It's got a little bit of fur in it there. We can see some fresh ones. Yeah, it's got a lot of fur in too. These ones that have got a lot of fur in, devils prefer to, first of all, they like to eat meat. Then they like to eat, um, like they eat, they eat the intestines, the guts, the meat, the ribs, then the bones, and then the fur last. So the devil here that got this came in last. Or it was a smaller animal. I'm just trying to work out what that is. It looks very soft and fluffy. It could be a possum, maybe. There's a solid devil poo there. That one's just been eating meat. If we break that up, we can probably find a little bit of bone in there. And here we have some more furry ones. Right here. There's just almost completely fur. Another one. Fur could possibly be a male. Um, females usually they're tougher than males even though they're smaller and they get all the meat and go and because I don't see very many meaty scats here they're all furry ones it could be a male who's sort of you know respectfully waiting for the females to eat. They're old droppings they're quite a few weeks old it could be that um, the other droppings may have just washed away and the ones with fur in have remained. Here we have some which is very pale in colour, which should have a lot of calcium in them. So there'd be a lot of shaved up bone that's digested there. Here are fragments of bone here. When I look at this one here, what's that? It's a part of a vertebrae of something. Probably a possum. I think this is a possum. There, yeah, there's part of the vertebrae. So it's not a very big animal. This animal wasn't that big. Um, so this devil has taken it whole, eaten a lot. And this is all that's left. So there's probably several different meals here. This one I think would be a very small possum. I think, look at that vertebrae. We're probably looking at a possum with a body that big and a tail that big. Probably half the size of the devil that ate it. Right, 
got my white lip snake here. I wanted to release it exactly where I found it. Now in the forest here, sometimes all the trees and bushes all look the same. I remember there was a flat rock here. I remember it was close to some Tasmanian devil droppings, which were close to some wombat droppings. So I know I'm in the right place. So I think this is the rock where I want to release the white lip snake. 